That means we are live. Yep, while I'm talking, yep, I've got cross both. So, yes. Just wait for it to kick in on YouTube. There we go. We are live here on the pit lane testing for, as you can see in the title, the Manufacturer Sprint Endurance League brought to you by the DMK RC. And this is a special pit lane. We're going to get hold of the double champion, DMK Aldo, just to have a few words, as you do. Just before live testing. Oh, why are we testing? Is there any cars on the track yet? Not yet. We're all in the grid. Let's just make sure we all got the right cars. There we go. We're all set, locked in, ready to go. It has been a season and a half last season. And they're already looking forward to next week, the start of a brand new season, season four. Um, the new format that we're going to be running is running both cars. As you can see in the title, Group 4, Group 3. But Aldo didn't have it, it was all, all his own way in season three. Although he uh, ran out 48 points clear in the championship, it was an event and a half. So we're going to see if there's a, a bat over here, DMK Aldo, the double champion, DMK, the first DMK double champion. Uh, oh, very good. He's here, ladies and gentlemen. Aldo is in the room. Wow. What a season that was, bud. Double champion and all that. The trophy is on its way. Yeah, it was well deserved. I mean, say you ran out 48 points clear, it wasn't uh, really all your own way, was it? It was pretty uh, close going with just Guyver in some of the events. Oh, haven't you? Uh, oh, haven't you shared your voice? If you go into your settings and allow your voice to be heard over uh, on the internet. <laughs> um, in your, um, hold on, let me go. Oh gosh, let me think. Is it in the party settings? You go into party settings, then go onto your headset. Should allow your voice to be heard. Hmm. Yeah, you chat audio. Yeah, have we got it? I think we have. Are we good? Yes, we have. Oh, sad. There we go. That's the voice of a champion right there, ladies and gentlemen. He's there. He's sorted. We are good. We are good, are we not? As I was saying, last season, it was, uh, so you ran out 48 points clear, Aldo. It was uh, certainly didn't have it all your own way. I didn't. It Definitely was, I didn't. The Skyver, he was keeping me on my toes. Definitely. Yeah, in a car that some of us man, um, imagine wouldn't go well around some of the tracks that we took as well. The GT40, especially around Laguna. Oh, it was crazy. Like, as I say, I had a shot at the car myself and I couldn't handle the car. So I don't know how the Skyver managed to do it. Yeah, and to finish second in the league with a car like that was, uh, is, <laughs> stands him in good stead for this season coming up, I would imagine. I reckon in the next season it's going to be tight, even tighter, especially with a new format. Certainly, mate, certainly. It's definitely going to be interesting. I think it was. I mean, beginning of the season, when you've seen a GT40 compared to your Aston Martin around Yamagiro and my Abbey, what was, your, what was your thoughts on that one? Because <laughs> he certainly uh, didn't hold no bars, did he? No, he didn't. He? Definitely didn't. He was away. Yeah, definitely. But you are the first DMK double champion. It would have been a triple if you, you know, but obviously turned up a bit late. But yeah, even finished just outside, was it just outside the podium positions in the, in the season three? Or season uh, two, even was it? Season two, I finished fourth. Yeah, so. But that was finishing fourth, we were only doing 10 races. I was yeah. quite impressed with that. 
I think we all was. You know, as a driver and off, 10 races and finishing just outside the top three as well. Just shows you what sort of talent we have here at the DMKR scene. It was absolutely fantastic. Um, but obviously, this, like I say, this season's going to be uh, a tighter one. But as we go back into season three, uh, looking at the Tokyo race, you looked a bit nervous in there in one of the races. Is it race one? You got a race two? They, they uh, looked a bit nervous commentary from my perspective on commentary wise it, it looked like nerves are kicking in that was me that was uh, grinding down to the ending at dragon trail as well where we thought you finished sixth and you didn't finish seventh as well just close the gap down although we confirmed as champion there it just brought that gap down going into the last race so yeah. we had to wait for the last race i bet you was praying for no disconnects right there that was you <laughs> Yeah, I definitely know. Because <laughs> there's still know. 50 what points up for grabs, weren't you there? Exactly. With so the gap being 48, it was still uh, all to play for. Aye, uh, definitely. But, Kev, can I do a wee shout out, pal? Is that alright? Of course you can, buddy, no worries. Go for it. I would like to do a big shout out to my, my missus, Maggie. I'd like to do a shout out to Tommy, Paddy, and Jordan, who are sitting watching us live as we speak. Wow, that's fantastic. Hello, everybody. Maggie, how are we doing, sweet? What's it like going out with a double champ? <laughs> <laughs> you love it, do you not? You love she's, it. She's my trophy, mate. She's my trophy. Oh, I'll cancel the other one, then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but no, it's been a, been a fantastic season. I'm certainly looking forward to the next one. Hopefully I'll get a trophy myself, you never know, always there or there about, but when there's launch to be cut, DK10 gets them done. Yeah. But anyway, congratulations Aldo, you are the double champion. Thank you very much, and looking forward to the next season. You're welcome. That's been brilliant. It's been absolutely brilliant. But we are here, this is group testing, we've done the group fours last week, and there was two disqualifications in the testing because uh, myself and uh, DMK Aldo was running racing super softs in the sprint race when we should be on racing softs so third place man took that so yeah it's, uh, it was one of them but no, even that was close in the sprint race it's only um, what were we 50 minute sprint races in uh, heading into a 40 minute endurance race which is going to get points in the sprint race as well, down to eighth place, eight, seven, six, five, four, down like that, all the way down to eighth. Um, no points for the fastest lap in the sprint. We're giving two points for the fastest lap in the endurance race, which will be uh, fantastic. Definitely keep the points alive for those that are not in with the top three, shall we say, the top five, the faster lads. They can also come in, stick some softs on, go for a fastest lap if they wish. But yeah, we'll see how we go. That starts next Thursday. Still spots available if you want to get involved. Head over to DK10 Sim Racing Community page. It's all on there. The event is on there. The track list is on there with all the times. The grids will be set manually from qualifying down to the sprint race and obviously the sprint race. Finishing order will incur the uh, grid for the endurance race So due to time changes as well. So yeah, it's going to be a fantastic season. And we will see if anybody has got an answer for DMK Aldo. Well, 48 points is a big gap. Um, but it, like we say, we didn't have all his own, mate. It was close. It was been tight, especially between uh, Duskyver and uh, DMK Chalky 12 as well. DMK Duskyver just finished in second ahead of uh, Chalky 12, who finished just ahead of me. And also give a shout out to Tazza 67, who finished with uh, most improved driver of the season. Considering, like I said, in many of the streams, there is a brand new driver to the league. Um, first time sim racing last season. Literally went out, brought a rig console, brought the game. Stuck it on, joined in, finished fifth of the season, so not too bad at all. He has got a, a DMK driver of the uh, season plate coming. He can stick that on as well. That should be good. That's coming directly from DM5 Vinyl Designs. We sponsored the league last season. Uh, we're talking to them get it sponsored again this season, which will be fantastic. And they also do our merchandise. You get buddies, t-shirts, cups. You can have a 200-piece jigsaw of your car. 
any scrape, we can get that sorted out. We can have that done. We are having our first TVT car done in the 200 piece jigsaw. When we first merged, as the DMK boys did, our first TVT got our, our name out there. It was good. We take on um, Tanzo Racing Group, who we are partners with. So, yeah, it's been fantastic. But we are staying on GT Sport again for 10 weeks. Just while you know, GT7, get the self sorted out. Did try hosting a lobby the other night, didn't quite go to plan. Certain uh, options weren't available, um, so yeah, we been bagged it off. And we're also doing now uh, open lobby nights on a Sunday night from uh, between seven and half past, as quick as I can get on, like seven. So yeah, open lobby night, DMK open lobby nights, they're coming. First one went down quite well, quite successful as well. It was good, clean, fast racing. So that'll be on from seven to half past nine. And it'll have been uh, fantastic. Let me just give Discover a shot, see if he's in the chat. Discover, are you in the chat? He's in the chat part, right? Eh? But I don't know if he's got his mute. He's making a muted. Okay, his uh, joke is going to be 10 minutes. He'll be with us in 10. Should be good. You've seen enough of that menu bar, haven't you? Let's go and see what cars we got on track. There is me. That's what I'll be rocking this season. I'll be rocking a Templar, the AMG Mercedes. Yeah, love it. It's been fantastic. Little motor. Uh, I am also running the Group Four version. The CSL should be good. Looking forward to season four. There's Dazzler, most improved driver of the season last season. He's rocking a Jaguar. Tigerish Jaguar. I don't know. Oh, God. Need to sort myself out. There's Ricky J as well, rocking a Mustang, a powerhouse in a straight line. That motor, absolute beast. We do love it. We do love the, the Mustang. Yep, I will give you 10 minutes, my brother. No worries at all. Ricky J as well. There's a uh, both of the GTTCC that was brought to you by the MRC, which I commentated on last year on the pro -Ams. Absolutely enjoyed that as well. Ricky J is in again. Just visiting the sand pit there. Tires a little bit cold. And there he is, your double champion, racing for Team BMW this season. Like I say, we are running testing because everybody wants to try different cars. So we're going to do a race here. If you wish to change the car when we head over to Spa, we are currently at the Red Bull Ring, as you can see. So, yeah. We'll see how they get on. There's your double champ right there. And Aurora down the side then is number one fan. If she ever watches hello. <laughs> yeah. So you're expecting a tighter battle next season now then with the car choice you've gone for this season. Obviously you're running the uh, team BMW. I am, I'm just looking love those picks up. Well, I don't think they will. These rumours of the uh, the car that we banned two seasons ago making a return. What's your thoughts on that? What car's that? The Toyota FT1V. Oh dear. Yeah, that's what I thought when I seen it. I was like, hey, what? <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's got a choice as well of the Toyotas in the Group 4s as well, hasn't he? If, he, if he's bringing the FT1. So it is the 86, which he bought out last week. Mm. And then we've got chalks on about testing the um, Porsche as well, which we know are good car, good all-round cars as well. And his pace last season, he was favourites on some tracks, but I think his uh, exuberance just got the better of him last season. I think he was pushing too hard, a few mistakes crept in. Yeah. yeah, especially around the Dragon Trail as well. Don't want to see me sat in the pits. There's Ricky J, he's changed to the Viper. The tail lap of the Viper, would you say, Aldo? Oh, I'm not really keeping the Viper up. Right? I think it's going to be a bit sideways in the back end. Yeah. 
You yeah, need a bit of throttle control in that one, innit? Aye. I would say so, definitely. Yeah. Unless he's turned TC on, one will never know. Because yeah. we are running TC, we are actually in race settings. These are settings that we'll be running next season, in season four. So, we are in race trim. On Thursday night, we are doing a full race schedule, so we're going to go for the... Uh, 10 minute qualifying, 15 minutes depending on the track, if it's over 2 minutes we'll be running it at 15 minutes, um, that's all on super softs and then we'll uh, do the manual grid for the sprint because of the time change of the date and then that'll be on the uh, group 4 as well on a set of softs for 15 minutes, so they're all standard 15 minutes depending, don't depend on the track so yeah it will be 15 minutes. And then we'll set up a five minute break and set the manual grid again for the endurance. And then it's 40 minutes with a mandatory pit stop. That is soft to medium. First two weeks for the top three, we'll see how it goes. Depending on how close it is, I mean, there's a bit of a gap between the one, two, and three. Anyone's winning by 14, 15 seconds, then we're going to keep the um, three week planning, which after three weeks, the top three will be running hards and mediums and the other lads down further down the will be running uh, softs and mediums there, so just to keep the field pretty tight pretty close but yeah we just like to shake it up a little bit should be a good season and uh, we're waiting on chalk have you got your mic open uh, dusk so we can have a chat To allow your voice to be heard over the internet. Now you have to go into your um, chat settings then. Well, it's alright, there's no rush. Well, hey, what's your flavour tonight then, Dusk? Oh, you're bringing out the toy, are oh. yeah. It's not the FT1V, that, huh? Oh. Yeah, we was just having a chat about last season with Aldo. Yeah, so there's a... They're in, a, they're in a little chat, we're just going to have a chat, a little catch up. Just for the pit lane special, as you do. Well, we'll do a live one, so we can get everybody in. So. It's not a big one, quite. It is in a straight line, that live one. And that is your runner up, DMK Discriber last season, as you know. Uh, gave it a good running in the GT40. Obviously, we're running manufacturers now, so two cars from the same manufacturer. As you just see, Ricky J going sideways there. Um, so yeah, yeah, just a little bit of fun, just a little bit of fun. You got to, aren't you? That's what it's all about. It ran a GD40 last season. Some of us were like at the first race around Yamagiri and Miami was fantastic, but. <laughs> A bit of DK1 drifting there by the pair of them, synchronised drifting. Yeah, GT40 around Yamagiri and Miami last season, last season, beginning of last season, was uh, showing signs of great pace. It did. It was a little squeamish under the accelerating, if I'm not uh, mistaken, but I'd be keen if I throttle managed that on accelerating. So, but it did well to get it around half the tracks. It didn't like curves, but to finish second in a car that it was a handful to drive. It was a fantastic achievement, nonetheless. <laughs> As the pit crew just tells me, that was an understatement. <laughs> there you go. We're in for a new one. No, it's going to be your uh, practice. And then just sit over sector one when I start, and then we'll uh, go from there. 
because if we did, uh, I was just thinking we'll just keep it as uh, close to what we can. We are in full race trim now. Yeah. Yeah, that's because uh, if any new guys join and they're used to winning traction control, then, you know, got to give them that option. With, I mean, so, you know, try and keep it fair for anybody and everybody that joins. So, but yeah, this is run on a Thursday night. The new time will be 8 p.m. Lights out for qualifying will be at 8.30. So, head over to DK10 Sim Racing Community page if you want to get involved in this event. There's still a few places left. Get your name down. Mm. If you want to see what last season was like, check out the videos on the DK10 gaming page. There's some group three videos on there. Or if you want to see move of the season, well, I won't say move of the season. It was more of a miss sold pit stop. You're not getting a trophy. You've already got a trophy. That was class. Yeah. It, it, it is now. No, it won't when it happened. <laughs> it won't when it happened. If you've never seen a missile pit stop, be sure to check out Yamagi Miyabi Season 3, Race 1. You will see uh, DMK Discriver sell DK10 a pit stop. It came absolutely free. And I fell for it. Yeah. Oh, and can I get a wee shout out for TT Roofing? TT Roofing? Right. There you go, of course you can, bud. Thank you very much. Best roofing company in Scotland. There you go, TT Roof again. A shout out from the double champion right there. You want a roof game? A shout. Correct, mate. Correct. Yeah. Citroen. Oh, what the? Oh, no, that's the run the Master last season, didn't it? I thought he was going to stay in that if he'd um, kept his Master, because he could have had the Atanza, couldn't he? So, yeah, would have been a good one. There's an Arshano bad more. Hmm. It's Arshano bad more. Yeah. I can't see you. You're in the... Oh, I'm looking for a Citroen. <laughs> 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 looking for a freaking Citroen. There's dildo coloured Porsche coming Porsche. up there. Trying the Porsche. <laughs> they are SR. Sorry, good fa sorry, good old fate for that. The Group 4 is not too bad either around the little circuits. It's nimble. Sorry, wrong softs. It's just qualified. Have a look. Let's bring up the tail. There we go. Get it on variable. I'm going to switch the keyboard. Let's bring it. We've got all the data there. There we go. Fastest lap at the minute. The team BMW sitting on the 129.7. Oh, yeah. Best of the rest. There you go. There's a few DMK boys in the room. Just going to become a DMK elite league, isn't it? <laughs> Mm. Not, the Dazzler's not going too bad in the Jag so far. What's he chalky there? He's brought, what's he brought? Who's that the Hardy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Hardy alright. Is Chalk in the chat? 
şöyle can da çağır. Şöyle de. Ya. Ee. Ee. Ben şöyle at the end if he's in. We are 806. I better climb in my rig. We'll go in four. We'll start the race in four minutes. I'm gonna climb into my rig if you hear me fall over. You haven't seen how tight this room is. So, yeah. I have to. St uh, softs and mediums, 10 minutes in. I'll give you the pit call. Pit lane will be open within 10 minutes of the race. I'll give it a shot. I'll keep my eye on the clock as we go around. Oh, gosh. I've got to get back out my rig. Give me a second, boys. Tell you what, I can't wait to get my second rig up and running. Sick of freaking swapping stuff over. There we go, I'm in. I'm in. Let me get out of that, get into that, let me get in my car. Let's get warmed in. Put a time in yet, but we're gonna have a quick go now, then we'll get it started. 20 minutes in a red ball ring, then we're gonna head off to Spa Fran de Champs. See how the temple acts around there. Remember everyone to go over sector one. Just keep your times in the place on the grid. Another driver that won his statue last season was a guy in front of us right now, blocking the Porsche RSR, Ricky J, aka Wrecking Ball Racing, had another fantastic season. Last race of the season came out and knew it's still third in qualifying. He was rocking the screw back then. Yeah, had another fantastic season. Certainly uh, capable of mixing it with the boys on his day. That's what we got all season, last season. And a better exit. I've seen a bit of slip off Ricky J.
a big enough wind to cut all the air out for us, isn't it? Well saved, David Dewey esque. <laughs> it's a good save nonetheless. There we go, that is set to one. We don't need these tyres. I hope that tastes nice. Yeah, pit lane will be open 10 minutes in. Night night, babe. Good night. Good night. Alright. How are we feeling, boys? Are we good? Just nope. <laughs> Go on. That Toyota's meant to be pretty good with an Aero, though, isn't it? The Aero's meant to be quite good on that Toyota. Same as the um, 86, but I think that was Salika Ewing's faster than the 86, isn't it? There's BMK Chalky 12 right there. I'm sat on the hill at turn three and I've just seen Ricky J's car going around the bottom of the circuit. That's how bright it is. I've just, yeah, I've just seen you going into sector three. Keep this sort of pace so up. I mean, new cars for every driver this season. Obviously, we've drove them at some point on GT Sport, but I don't think it's been for a full 10 week season, so we'll see what happens. The track variations, we've gone Indy with uh, GP circuits as well, so it's going to be a, a mixed bag. Yep, all after sector one, please. Oh, and then we can going. get going. And there we go. Unlucky Chalky 12 just stealing second place there. So that is swap chalk with Duskyver, and that's how the season finished. So, and there he comes now, look. <laughs> Literally flew straight through us. You know what I mean? Had a little power lap on his way through. Uh, who's coming down to start the Dazzler, won't it? Is that you going down to start finish straight? Oh, it's me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that was one second as well, wasn't it, to be fair? Ricky J earning style points as you do. A double champ sliding through there as well. Let's get you, you start on what's on your car settings, aren't you? What you? I was damaged. <laughs> I was damaged too much. Damage. Oh, yeah. Just lost your lap time out there. I got my two shots. All right. 
Yeah, there we go. Are we all good? We all here. Chalky boy. You got you got literally ten seconds. Here we go. We're on the clock. You think this is qualifying we're doing next, eh? Um, oh, right. Yeah, all right. Just, yeah, it's, uh, I didn't change it from last time. It's still on practice ways. Go on, then. We'll do this. Yeah, go on. Yeah. You're not having it off. No sandbagging allowed. <laughs> know what you're like. Yeah, you look it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you have to get a lap into all my tyres. Which has only took me a few seasons to realise that that had an effect on myself. having the confidence that we were driving right didn't you I suppose and stealing a bit of slipstream there he is the flying Scotsman the Iceman himself Anybody join an elite? Oh, there, there you go. Me, that was fire. I got the sausage on the exit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> savage, Ricky J. Savage. So right, I've seen Monty Python. I think the film's absolutely brilliant, I do. Yeah, full front, oh, I say front aero, front right, and full engine damage. I'm, I'm driving a 50 pence piece, you're nowhere near me yet. Lawn mowing, I'm writing cars off. <laughs> this is a gravel. This pit crew don't fuel, it's called the Andy Marik. <laughs> Shining the light on a 
the season we do it two iconic tracks we are doing Goodwood and Bathurst which will be good end of the season we'll be qualifying and sprint racing around Goodwood and then we'll be endurance in around uh, Bathurst which will be a great match nice for racing so that's 10 that's 10 weeks away yeah but it's something we want to look forward to Faster again. Lap if we're going to make any sort of impression. Probably a low mouth impression. That's half a second faster than the first sector. Third one as well.
tires pretty like this so I'll be quite happy with that. There we go, we we'll take fourth at the moment. The three of us picking up penalties. That's what you expect running around Red Bull. Isn't it? Qualifying one thing, racing's in a lot. Yeah, just that one glory lap. You got your voice allowed to be heard, but the chalk. Voice settings. Yeah, not yet. We'll do it after this race. Yeah, we can have a little chat on the way over to Spa. Just a little run through last season. We had a chat with Aldo earlier on. That's a quick 40 seconds, wasn't it? <laughs> oh. Yeah. yeah. Five lights. Yeah, go. Shouting the kids in it. Eh, eh, eh. Oh, the poor man's horse. Got a bit of grip there, Chalk. Oh, don't take the notice of my driving. That hard is pretty quick, if I'm honest. Especially in the mile railway. Really. Oh, you had to see the run. I'm running um, zero brake by it, so I want to try and keep the car pretty neutral. Because on some tracks it feels pretty awesome when it's neutral. And I'm probably going a little bit faster around some of the corners. Huh? Learning to drive this car again compared to a couple of seasons ago.
for damage. Still going to be a, a mandatory pit stop. Last season we ran 8.6. Uh, tyre wear was on 8 few times, it was 6. We are running neutral 4.4 on the tyres in previous seasons. So. There is a mandatory pit stop in the endurance so race in the sprint. You don't have to pit, just run all out. Just try and manage it for 15 minutes. Last season on Alexis RC's. RCZ. Yeah, we get my habit. Thought I was going to win out the rest of the season. It absolutely tips up. I think I spent at least 80% of my time going on it. Looking for better this season. I guess that's not going to be your main choice then, sure. Place to lose the penalty is on turn three coming up. Yeah, well, apparently, this is turn two, more king. There you go, there's your 500 loyalty points gone. I'm gonna break just before the sector now.
get another lap and then it's pit lock and so open. That's the 10 minute marker boys, pits are the open halfway through. I know some of the where they made the pit start due to damage. But for his racing, pit lane is now open. No, it's alright. Ten minutes is halfway through, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's to get the, um, I'm trying to spread the wear out on the softs and the mediums. You know, so you're probably roughly doing 10 minutes on each. Just so we get an even feel for it. In what the endurance races? Is that what you mean, Rick? In the endurance race, suit yourself. It's a mandatory pit. This is just what we tested, so we get an even feel for the mediums and soft tyres. But in the when the league starts next week, it'll be down to your uh, own discretion when you pit. We went in, eight temps in front, gained 2.2 in the pits. What's that about? Oh, that dead cold. Yeah, I lost just under a sec, just a, well, lost about half a second. Running order is a DK10 leading the way after the pits. Out there's in second, the Sky is in third place, Dazzler is in fourth, Chalky 12 is in fifth, Ricky J is sixth. Comet standing so far, that's him now. Many people are not in racing, and in my leagues, it won't be good to myself. Said it. I called it. Yeah. That freaking long wall strip again. Front arrow, front left. It's a If I hit the other side, I might be on.
do when every damage so the damage don't appear itself you have to do have to pick you want to pay your damage but it's not that bad right now so we'll see what I'm doing I'm just glad all the fastest slap so far run 28.9 Game from the pit crew that is at his gearbox damage. Front right, front arrow as well to boot. Pit crew gonna have it all to do with four minutes left to go. This guy will leave him away about seven and a half seconds right now. Loyalty points. We will save them for Saints Bridge next week. Oh, we're That's down to Carl or just try. Maybe the boat. You've got to be a bit more aggressive. Maybe you'll have the chance on that to build it. They can have this, they can have all the, uh, some of the Grand Prix tracks on GT Score, but they can't have um, Silver stuff. Uh, but in uh, brands held by the uh, BRC. Yeah, Snetterton, Fruxton. Oh, yeah. Six and a half seconds to dash that. Right. We're currently in third, that's down to 17 in. I reckon we're good for the last minute. This guy was pulling a nine second gap now, so two seconds on that lap. Damage not being nice to him. I'm 
think that fuel strap. Yeah, we lost it again, man. This is the last lap, so that fuel strap still is about right. Oh, I'm still a good so far. I'm still sitting on 1.8. I did cancel the fuel in there, so I was like, no, 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 I don't need no fuel, but I think the bit that went in is probably saving me. Filling up the fuel tank, you can never get stuck on 30 quid, it's always like 30 pounds, 70 pounds, some shit like that. Here's a final lap for us. The Sky will be going on a parade lap. Oh no, they won't. There you go. The Sky was your winner at Red Bull Ring. We will come in in second place. There you go, that second place for DK10. The Sky were taking first. That's the point of running in third place. Equaling his eyes, best finish of the season last season. Now down in fourth after his mistake. The lowest he's ever finished. Last no, it wasn't, was it? Seventh last season, yeah. I just remembered, yeah. Just remembered, yeah. He gets cold down the bottom, doesn't he, Aldo? Uh, I can't win everything. I can't win all the time. Yeah, yeah literally, there enough. Did I want to count the wins up this season? Oh, is it done? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right, yeah. It's a stat sheet then, yeah. I can do last that. Time I, last time I knew I had 14 wins or something. That's a phenomenal achievement, though, that is, to be fair. Even that though, you know, stay second place and only take him one or two victories, but constant seconds, you know, yeah. Yeah, I can imagine it to be frustrating, but it's still a, an achievement in itself. In the car you was in as well. Correct, so, you still want to go with it, correct. Yeah. Oh! I'm just surprised oh. nobody's actually took the Aston Martin. I, really I think Chalk was on about it, wasn't he, in the chat, so, yeah. The Grand Callum. Sound. Right. Lovely. Let me just, I'll be back in a second, then I'll change the lobby. Give me a second. Right, see if you go into your push your PlayStation button. Go to the chat party. Go down to party audio. Settings, right. Once you click on that, go down to allow your voice to be shared and go to always allow. And why is the sky moving for some reason? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No, 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 no. Right, see if you go down a bit more, it'll say allow your voice to be shared. I'm, I am back. Do that to always allow, which means if you're in like a lobby, a chat party with like Kev, you'll be heard there on YouTube. Uh, I, no, no, I'll come back yeah, to that, pal. Go into your normal chat. 
Here we go. Is yours uh, done, Chuck? I will see. Um, I, I will see. So adjust microphone side. level. Adjust audio mix. Chat audio. I will see. Adjust microphone level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine's done. Just check the YouTube channel. Ah, oh, sad. I truly am YouTube famous. <laughs> there you go, Chalky Troll is now live on the channel, boys and girls. There you go, we're at third place last season. Chalk, third place last season, second time in a row in two seasons, you've been third. Yes, yes indeed, mate, yes indeed. Uh, uh, rocking yeah, the... Uh, challenging it, uh, to say the least. Even though he was favourite on some circuits, so I've got to admit, some have been to some of your favourite tracks as well, like Yamagiba and... Um, Dragon Trail, we we had you down as favourite for that one as well. Yeah, that that she came. Yeah. I, I was I pushed just a little bit too hard. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Well, it can be a pain in the ass that chicane of death, can't it? To be honest, it's it's a right squeeze type kind of moment. Well, what was my second choice? That I was going to try tonight. But I was looking at the right the down. chart or the messenger. That's the one, and go here, always alone. Got yeah, I'm on it. There we go, everybody's on, talking in the chat. Let's get it on. Let's get it going underway. Did you think after Yamagi and my Abbey Troll, you call you, did you think you picked the right car? Was your car choice good? Because obviously last season, if you changed car after race one, you would have been lost uh, 20 points, but, you know, we didn't have a test session like we have this season, so... Yeah. Did you think it was uh, in good stead? <laughs> I, I, to be honest, I think I got lucky with the car choice. It just didn't go out the way I planned it. Thanks to a certain couple of people. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Beating me to the line. <laughs> yeah, yeah, another trophy for the cabinet, though, Chalk. Another oh, great nice. season by yourself. Some fantastic drives as well. Some good overtakes. Well, it's, uh, you pick things up. Just racing with some of the other lads, do you know what I mean? Whoa, whoa, yeah. you, I didn't pick that up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into the low. Let's get on board, see what we've got on board. Just waiting for the few to rejoin. There we go, Dazzler's uh, in a Jag still. There's Chalk, there you go, the Chalky 12. In the TDT, you spun the live with the uh, machine. We ran so this livery against uh, Race Asylum in a TVT, which is uh, coming around again. We are going to go again. We want revenge over Race Asylum. Uh, we, we are talking. Well, we have, it says give us a couple of weeks, so we're going to give them a couple of weeks. Go and get the leagues and that sorted out. Um, obviously, they're sorting out GT7 and for the Formula One leagues that we do on that. So, yeah, it's in there. They've agreed to take us on again. We will take them on again. It's always good to promote two leagues and some good clean racing as well. One against Race Asylum. It was, it was. Well, yeah. Even though there was a few backdoor issues, you know, I clipped one on my way out of the bus oh, stop here fun. and. <laughs> yeah. Aston, you're in the body, eh? Yeah, this yes. is the uh, TDT live with Aston, yeah. Oh, nice one. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about the Aston, but I, I don't have another livery for it. It's quite its own. Should be good around here as well, pretty hero, but I just can't drive that car myself for some reason. No, when you get it right, it goes so right. Oh, yeah. God, that green Obviously car not then. Just yeah, it just sucks you off, doesn't it? <laughs> it really does, mate. <laughs> yeah, it just pulls you off. <laughs> Even that one did sound right, did it? <laughs> Sucks you off, pulls you off, whichever comes off. <laughs> <laughs> Throws you off, I think you're looking for, yeah? Yeah. I'm 
half tempted to just say I'm gonna go with the Audi. Well, like I said, we only get in uh, race testing tonight, so and then like next, say Thursday, uh, we're running to schedule then, so it'll be a bit later for you, Chalk. So we'll be starting at 8 o'clock next week. Well, this week, Thursday, this Thursday, yeah. 8 o'clock, yeah. Chalk, what was the big bias set on this, Bob? Say again. What's your big bias set on what? You're asking. Yeah, who's uh, on the Aston is one to the front. Uh, that's what I have. No, it's already reverse bread. So yeah, we have the first good race in this one and everybody's in the room. Yeah. I think all three are on. I haven't changed it from last season, the tyres, so I can uh, do that now actually. I can edit the settings. Just so you don't get it by mistakes. Uh, I have now. Yeah, I've got it now. Yeah, I've saved it. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Have you changed your chat yet, Charles? Right, I'll get you after. All right, because it is what nine o'clock now. We will get, we will crack on. As you do. All right, racing soft. We're all in a racing soft. Yes, we are. There we go. Are we ready, boys? I'm keeping my car. I'm yeah, I'm keeping my car, I'm not changing mine. Is that, uh, everybody ready? This should be a good race if I'm honest. Ricky J's going to be rocking the Mustang. There's the Toyota, the Jag, the Aston, AMG and BMW. Is that a nice car to drive, Rick? What's up? What car's he in? Mustang. The Mustang, yeah. It looks nice. Yeah. Alright, uh, let's keep up with me in the open water. I was using the. I was using the VM. Yeah, it minced yeah, it, didn't it, down the straight? I think Cutler used it in one of our season races, didn't he, around uh, Brazil? And it, yeah, yeah, it was yeah. absolutely prolific around there, wasn't it? It but was that, the Talazos race. Yeah. Ah, oh, you're right, Chucky, mate, I was. That's what battle was, wasn't it? Yep. That was a good battle as well, that. 
you've just got him clean all the way through, man. Yeah. That was Marty, I felt sorry for him, he had to catch his breath. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't he? <laughs> yeah, D4 TC, you love it. You love it, don't you know? Start with, when everyone's ready. I'm ready. So I want something to pick up at ten o'clock. Okay. Let's go. Reverse grid from the last one. Mm. Who was that? That was me. <laughs> right, we Looks did. like I just received a slight finger in the anus. Oh, oh, yeah, so I'm expecting a um, compensation claim. <laughs> right, we're not running traction off the line on this one, are we? No. If you want to do what you want. I am, yeah, it's up to you. Oh, well, I didn't in the last one. Well, that's your fault, not mine. Whatever that. I'm trying to get off you, I can't get off you. <laughs> I'm stuck to your rear quarter then. <laughs> Must be one of my aero fenders. It's got a little lift there. That was mad. Literally had nowhere to go there. I forgot how big the front end of this is. I didn't want to bury it on the Astro Turf, then otherwise it would have caused chaos.
steering wheel is going up, up, up all the way. Shorting in the way, going like fast, it's like 2182. Two. Right then, by out of the sky, part of myself, and the dazzle just behind us there, in the seat. Oh, I might be cut some noise to punch for that. Jesus. Defensive side. Defensive trying to hang on to it. Oh, 
Yeah, I've got the Ford Taylor side of it. Nice yeah, so. A little bit of that then, that. Shades of gardens. Pit stops now open. Do we have to use um, medium? Yeah. I did in the last one. No worries, Rick. Hopefully, get it sorted for Thursday. Right, See you later, buddy. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Mm. If this is out to play by, yeah. Especially with the group fours as well, that would be um, a good little battle to uh, commentate on. I'm saying that all a bit well. Still places available. I'm hoping that's enough. And we've got it all to do again on the medium tyres. In this pit lane special, we had a chat with Aldo, we had a chat with a chalk earlier on. Chat. Hey, look who's joined the room, Mr. Notorious, Martin J. Lone. How are we doing, buddy? How you getting on? This is just uh, practice lobby for the new season coming up. Totally out of that. That is a surprise. <laughs> Are they not stable enough? Or are they just not or is it just not wide enough for your monitors to go on? Martin J L nice season one battle with Aldo. That came down to a bit of argy bargy around here before we went to Catalonia for the last race of the season. I think Aldo was rocking the AMG in season one and Mr. Notorious was rocking the RSR then. And that was a battle and a half to watch that one as well. Change your mind. <laughs> 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 
that's why we have a third session. Well, that one I sent you a picture of earlier, Mark, is the um, same sort of fitting as yours. Uh, but I want to fit it to where my base plate is on my steering wheel, and then obviously it'll be a bit closer then. So yeah, should be, uh, should be good to go. I've only got a Dazzler only 1.1 behind us, isn't it? Just, just getting a whiff of slipstream. We lost six seconds to allow that messing about. Oh, they want too much about that now. Certainly a bit sour on these meters. Oh, we're running neutral brake lines. Have you sent a picture of that, bud? Leads it far from you, is it? Have a look when I've done here, then, but I haven't been on since uh, I've been on here. Oh, it's caused so weird on the mediums around here, losing time and over this. Well, in your motor, it will be <laughs> in your VXR Astra. to the nines as well, that is, isn't it? Where are you going, Dazzler? Oh, I've gone back. <laughs> well, I've dropped off. Got the braking on. Cool. I'm still running the settings on the wheel for ACC which makes this car ever. I forgot to change it, so I just unplug it from the PC for PlayStation. So probably get a couple of loyalty points for that. And get rid of them, it seems good. <laughs> yeah, you will. <laughs> Last season, point the fourth now. So we want to better these places next season. You, you, you did say it though in chat, didn't you, when we was talking last night that uh, yeah, always summer in there. I always saw it stop with getting a freaking perfect setup straight away. Back of my mind, it was a freaking strapped up because this stand I got for the old PC when I had it. Was, took a bit of an hour in it. 
I'm just getting a single alarm three monitor man. Where did I get from? Yeah, from the monitor. Let me get rid of these. Right, let's see what we've got here. Let's <laughs> oh bless our kitty cat. Mm. Get more loyalty points, just get rid of that and get some more. There's the last lap. So it's looking like, what's that, 20 minutes, 9 laps, 18 laps in the joint. Three and last season's championship leading on it, and it's the other chalk leader in the way on the final lap. we led more or less most of the race. The sky was in second, Aldo was in third. So, I'm also make second behind him for after the quick start. There were a few mistakes and saved a couple of laps, but we're there. Chalky 12 is the winner in this test session. This guy the second. It could be down to tracking the time of day. Yeah, yeah which is going to be because next season the track. Who the fuck is that? Yeah. I just climbed out of it. Oh, God. <laughs> I climbed out of my rig and dropped my headset. Oh, alright. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> we got that. Yeah. Yeah. It's tighter than the nun's crutch in here, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I probably shouldn't have said that live, but yeah, I do apologise, mother. Uh, you could have said the other C word. Yeah, I would, but I don't like colouring. <laughs> 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 oh, uh, dear. Well, I thoroughly enjoyed that, boys. Awesome. Hey? Uh, Aston. Be, be my new car. Yeah, I, th I think Aston's going to be my choice for this season. I'll right, get some well. live. Hey? That's my choice as well. Aston's. No, you used it last season. We don't use it anymore. Nah, I'm changing, I'm changing it. No, nah, he lost the race in the Beamer, didn't he? So you don't want to yeah. use it anymore. I was the last year. No, no, no. Uh, GR4. Oh. Right, listen, yeah, I don't want to shoot off and get some alcohol. Yeah, no more <laughs> truck. Oh, but, um, yeah. Slap me down for the Astons and okay, I will no see worries. you all on track on Thursday. Yeah, Thursday night, 8 o'clock, we're on uh, for the full race settings, full race tests. Yeah, and go. then uh, we'll get something to fill in if you want to keep a Tuesday spot open we'll get something going for that uh, so what is it season 4 start next week or next week yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 right it's just this right, Thursday we can get we can get the settings and the and the test sets on that yeah Martin J. Low 9 says hi everybody 
Hello. Hello. How are you doing? He's here in the chat. He's got his triples up. Well, he's getting his triples sorted out. So, yeah, ready for the ACC. He's getting them sorted. He's off, he's off to Leeds, I believe, to go and have a look at some... Uh, oh. Where is it? He's going to head into Murray Motorsport. Yep, that means fuck all to me. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, yes, boys, I will love you and leave you. Have a good one. Yeah, yeah, terrific chalk. Talk Speak to you later, buddy. Bye-bye. Yeah, Bye-bye. All the best. That was chalky 12 there. Right, lads, I'm jump off as well, because I need to jump out. Yeah, it's all right, buddy, no worries. Right, I'll speak to you later on. Bye -bye. See you later, buddy. Thank you very much. And that was your double champ. Bye-bye. Well, we'll be surely in for a bit of a mixed bag next season. I'm sure it's going to be absolutely... Uh, Terrific, it's going to be very close. I'm sure once everybody gets used to the tyres, gets used to the circuits, gets used to the time changes as well, which has an effect on the tyres, it's certainly going to be a mixed bag. Uh, so, yeah, head over to DMK, um, DK10 Sim Racing Community page on Facebook. Uh, check the events page if you're interested, you want to get involved in this event. This starts uh, next Thursday, 8pm. The lobby opens, qualifying is uh, 8.30 sharp on the dot if you do miss qualifying and you make the race you'll start the back of the grid for the race for the sprint race that is a group four you do group four qualifying group four sprint race and then it'll be uh, for the endurance it'll be the uh, results from the sprint race or set the grid for the endurance um, the format is um, indie circuits heading into Grand Prix circuit so like say Suzuka East for your group 4 uh, sprint race and then we'll do Suzuka Grand Prix circuit for the endurance in your group 3's um, Branzac Indy in the group 4's and then we'll head to Branzac GP in the group 3's for the endurance that's going to be the format for the season um, I don't think anybody's done that sort of format before but you know here at DMK we'd like to uh, spice it up just a little bit and you know got to be in it to win it this trophy's up for grabs as well. Top three in my league always we all get trophies. So my JL09, these are trophies. We're gonna start a wall of uh, a trophy wall in the DMK chat. In the DMK page. Just for those that win trophies. Plus you get as you see Dazzler 67 got driver of the season, most improved driver of the season. He's gonna get a wall plaque. That will be good. So yes. Really looking forward to it. Uh, I've been your host. DK10 and I've got to go put our free so I will uh, POV on Thursday um, we can have a little chat we'll go through the uh, format I'll let you know you get to see the format then if you want to be on it no I can't get DQ'd on GT now I was absolutely gutted mate I thought it come on automatically so when I looked to the left of the monitor and it says it was on I thought it was on and then I fly into the pit lane like a good one. Literally flew into the pit lane. And yeah. Um, but it lets you do your pit stop. And then you get to come out. You e literally exit the pit. And it drags you back in and go, you've been disqualified. I was like, oh. Absolutely fuming. But yeah. Absolutely uh, fuming about that. But yeah, I need to watch that. I need to pay more attention on ACC, I think. So yeah, ACC uh, join League on Mondays. That's on Amigos uh, Discord server. Yeah, be sure to check them out, Amigos ACC. It's a good little league to be in. Great fun, clean as well. It was pitch black at Nurburg, and it was absolutely teaming it down. <laughs> it stopped in your box for a drive-through. <laughs> <laughs> I picked up three drive throughs I did and I just couldn't keep the car on the track I did probably one or two laps of a clean 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 and then after that I just felt like I had no grip it was absolutely teeming down and the spray off them cars was absolutely ridiculous I couldn't even see the racing line it was that bad so but yeah all adds to the realism I suppose travelling at freaking 100, 100 and odd mile an hour in the, in, the, in the rain yeah you can only imagine what it's like real life though, can't you, to be fair. But yeah, we are there Monday. That will be good. Once I have got the uh, setup right, I will be live streaming those events. Uh, I will be um, pairing two PCs together. I'm going to attempt to pair them both together. Through a 
um, capture card so I can stream them live. So yeah, you should see the onboards on the ACC. It will be good. Yeah, I was really looking forward to it. You know, if it was in the dry, I reckon it would have been a different race. But, you know, variety is a spice of life. It's just that my variety is off. More or off all the time. But yeah, that's what it is. Hopefully it's week's dry next week. Get to see what this uh, Adi Evo's like. We shall see. But anyway, let me save this replay. There we go. And we'll save that. I'll get out of it. All right, that is it. I am off. Thank you for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for joining the stream. Thank you to Aldo for having a little chat with us, the double champion in the DMKRC League. And Chalky Troll, we're finishing third. Unfortunately, we couldn't get uh, Discover in. Couldn't set his mic up, but we'll get a chat with him at some point next time on the pit lane. Oh, yeah, it would have been a good one if he didn't get connect disconnected. That's right. Must have just been a random boot or something. That's all I can think of. Yeah, don't know. I don't know, but... If it happened to me, I'd have probably quit, to be fair. <laughs> probably turned it off and gone to watch Delhi or something. But, yeah. No, I don't know. But anyway, it's been fun. It's been a night. I've been DK10. Be safe. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.